Alright, good evening everybody. Welcome to tonight's stream. We are playing Transport right, Fever tonight. I'm just going to mute my laptop. Here we go. Right. Uh, currently, I just want to check if that is the case. Yes. Currently the game audio is muted and it might sound like I'm shouting because God, it's loud in my ears. Uh, let me show you just how loud it is. And again, I want to check the, the audio. Actually, it's not that loud on here. Not that loud on there, so I might leave it unmuted. I will turn it down a little bit, though, because it is deafening in my ears. It means I can't hear myself speak, which is very bad when you're trying to host a live stream. Um... We also need to start setting up the uh, the poll for next week's stream. I'm just sending out a quick message. There we go. Right. Uh, so I'm going to get the second poll set up. It's going to be quite simple. I need to remember what the commands are. Actually, let me do that. And then we can actually get going. Uh, setting up Moobot. game's taking a long time to load, by the way. I've been a bit mental tonight, and I'm probably going to regret it in a minute. But I uh, set it up as the largest map size, which I think was 576 square kilometers, which is a quite a lot. <laughs> it's quite big. Um, I'm trying to work out what the dimensions of that would be, in fact. Let's see if I've got a calculator. Uh, square root of... Come on, 576. So it's 24 by 24. That doesn't sound right. I think it might be bigger than that. Anyway, uh, the poll. So, um, Moobot poll open. That's what I want. I'm just going to check to see what the... Okay. Um, I think I need the brackets. So we're going to have a uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I should probably open my Steam library whilst I'm here. What other games have I got? Airport CEO. That's a good one. It would also help if I capitalised my words. There we go. So, Kerbal Space Program. Airport CEO. Um... Something really daft. I say daft. Something that... I suppose we could do... The original cities in motion. It's been such a long time since I played that game. Um, the forest. And one more. Let's do Motorsport Manager. Okay. 
There we go. The pole is open. Has my game crashed? Or is it just going really slowly? You can just about see the uh, the bar here, just above the follow goal. It is going very slowly. The music has stopped, I noticed. I hope it hasn't crashed. That would be really annoying if it has. Really annoying. Come on. Not responding. Oh, great. Not a good start. It's going to be a two hour stream, but it's going to be two hours from when the game actually loads. So, this doesn't count towards it, I would say. So yeah, they're, they're the options. So you, you vote by doing exclamation mark vote, and then a space, and then the name of the game. It is cap sensitive, so remember to put the capital letters. Uh, and the options are airport CEO, cities in motion, the first one, not the second one, motorsport manager, the forest, or Kerbal space program. Um, I just realized something. do that again because I don't think you need the brackets one day I will get used to this uh, so it is airport CEO uh, cities in motion motorsport manager the forest well, Kerbal Space Program, I suppose. I mean, it reorganizes them into alphabetical order anyway. Uh, and finally, the forest. Okay, so the new poll is open. Your options are Airport CEO, Cities in Motion, Kerbal Space Program, Motorsport Manager, or the forest. Oh no, the game is still loading. It is still loading. It's just going very. Well, I say slowly. It's about. It's loading about as fast as it was before. Uh, the music's just stopped. Did I? I didn't mute the game, did I? So I guess we just ran out of music. That's how long we've been loading for. All right. Can you guys still hear the music? No. Okay. Good. Well, yeah. Okay. Good. It is good. It's not bad. Uh, I notice we've got some people now in the stream. Welcome, 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 everybody. We are playing Transport Fever. That is a very nice uh, screenshot, actually. I quite like that. Uh, I don't actually know how Moobot processes that. That's a very interesting experiment. I doubt I doubt it will to be honest. If I scroll down That's interesting. For some reason, Ben, it counted your vote for the forest. So the forest is currently winning with a hundred percent of the vote. Uh you should be able to change your vote though if you so wish or I could reset the poll but I'm not sure if that would mess up uh, everything and I'd have to put it in again so something will happen I'm sure right yes long loading I did have the game loaded up oh there we go black screen I did have the game loaded up um, oh my ears I will turn that down. And then I'll explain it a bit better.
Right, options, audio. Actually, it's not that that I want to turn down, is it? It's that. There we go. Right, yes. So, I'll look around the map in just a second. Uh, is that a gap in the road? No, it just hadn't loaded properly. Alrighty. Uh, so, yeah, I did have the map loaded, but then I, I thought the map size was actually too small. So I went and had a look to how, how to do the experimental map sizes, which is what this is. Mainly so that if we continue playing this after tonight in future streams or future videos, uh, I've got lots of space to actually build in. So, South End on Sea is nowhere near the sea. That's the first thing I've just noticed. Um, it's also nowhere near Portsmouth, but hey. I don't mind the geography like that. It's been like on Transport Tycoon. You're in the in the middle of a landlocked part of the map, and there's a place called something on sea. It's still it's really stupid. Yeah, it's laggy as hell. This game. It is laggy as hell. Once the map loads, that's why I'm sort of scrolling around to give the map a chance to to load in properly. It's not even like it's procedurally generated. It, it does just load in, but I think you have to survey it all once before it, it does actually start behaving itself. Right, pause the game. That also helps. Uh, so I'm looking where to start and I think somewhere like Rochdale or Darwin. I mean, is there a place called Darwin in the UK? Da Darwen, not Darwin as in Australia. Uh, Portsmouth was an option. Berwick-upon-Tweed as well is an option. I'm looking to see where I could build trams or uh, a big bus network. You can download geographical maps, but I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah, not really. Uh, I did watch... It's one of the frustrations I have, not just on this game, but the people that play it on YouTube, is they don't have my playstyle. So I watched a guy who had this massive European map, and he was talking about linking London to Paris and things like that. And he did, to be fair. He linked London to Paris via a bridge. Um, that... That annoyed me in itself. He did it via a bridge and not a tunnel. Because, okay, it's difficult to build undersea tunnels on this game. But it is possible if you do the landscape. I just noticed something, actually. There's no water. That's... Not good. There's no water. Why is there no water? <laughs> uh, I'll continue telling the story, actually. So, yeah, he... I hate to do this to you guys, but I need to find out why there's no water. I didn't even save that one, unless it auto-saved. Um, what was I saying? I was saying... Oh, yeah, so he linked London to Paris via a bridge. Uh, and then he linked Paris to Madrid. Then he linked Paris to Rome and Milan. Or via Milan. But instead of doing... like At that point, I'd have had a service that runs between London and Madrid via Paris. And a service that runs between London and Rome via uh, Paris, Milan. And then down to Rome. He didn't. He did a TGV running shuttle services between London and Paris. Then he did one between Paris and Rome. Then he did one between Paris and Milan. And then he did one between Milan and Rome. So annoying. So annoying. That's not how this game was designed to be played, I'm sure. Alright, free game. So we've got... Okay, we've got Britain Island. Which negates that. So actually, I want random. I want that. I didn't accidentally turn on a No Rivers mod, did I? So I've got them all enabled, apart from these two, which were created by the developers. Which were Urban Game... Oh, here we go. Hang on. 
No end year, curved train stations. Okay. Yeah, there's there's nothing that allows you to add a water percentage. <laughs> I love this response to someone. They're saying there's not enough water in the game and someone else's response was, uh, as an ex-Navy officer, I think there is not enough water on planet Earth. Yeah, you know, subjective and all that. All right, I hate as I say I hate to put you guys through this, but I just want to check if there's anything has to do with that water. That's to do with that. Okay. Terrain European. I just don't get why there was no water on that map. I also wish you could preview the map before you open the game, because we've got to go. go ugh, we have to go through a massive load screen again. Yeah, I'll tell them to buy more RAM, or go on downloadmoreram.com. Alright, I'm not that fussed about boats, but I would like bodies of water to build bridges over. So we're going to do that. And see how we get on there. And if we don't get water this time around, then we just don't get water. Simple as. I don't think I've ever seen that though. Literally no water. Unless I missed some. Yeah, no water map seed. I found one that's got a nice river on it, but the seed for it is USA. Uh, so I'm going to not do that one, just for the principle. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna let this load um, and see where we stand. In the meantime, I suppose I should cast my vote for next week's stream. Um, let me think. There's two that I'm... Re actually, there's three that I'm really interested in playing. And then the, the other two I'm meh about. I put the forest on there because it's the only multiplayer one on the list. Airport CEO is single player, so is Cities in Motion, so is Kerbal. Um... I'm actually tempted to op reopen the poll with... Actually, I will have to reopen the poll because I missed out another option anyway. So, Ben, bear with because you'll have to put your vote on again in just a second. Right, so the forest won that one. Now I'm going to do it properly. Moobot, uh, open poll. Right, so... Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take out one of them. I'm just thinking which one. In fact, which ones did we have in the original poll? So cities in motion. I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I'm. I'm not playing any Call of Duty game for a long, long time. 
Unless I get my 360 fixed up and I might go back and play World at War and remind myself when COD was good. Uh, so Cities in Motion, The Forest. Space Engineers. Or do I want to do that? I want to play... I want a mix of multiplayer and single player. Problem is I don't have many multiplayer games. That's one of my problems. I could do Space Engineers. I could do that. Alright, I will put Space Engineers on the list. Uh, so, Cities in Motion, The Forest, Space Engineers. Um, shall I do Kerbal again? I'll do Kerbal again. Uh, then I'll also do Airport CEO. And then finally, not CEA, CEO. And then finally, uh, transport fever replay. Oh, I don't have to put replay actually, I'll just do that. Right. Did I mess? Oh, I did mess up. One second. Messed up big. Messed up big. Right, move, bot, poll, open. Then all of those. Okay, so your new options are Airport CEO, Cities in Motion, the original, not the, the sequel, Kerbal Space Program, Space Engineers, The Forest, and Transport Fever, which is a replay. Uh, Tabletop Simulator will be back on the list. Uh, probably next week or the week after, just so that there's a, a gap. So we either do a direct replay, so if, if the stream was really popular and people want me to do it again, can do. But as soon as it scrolls over to the next week, then it gets put on the a list that will bring it back to the top um, as the weeks go by. We are a third of the way through the load bar, people. <coughs> Bravo. We all worked very hard to make that happen. Alright, those of you that are interested in re-watching last week's stream, I will actually be re-watching last week's stream as well. I was going to put it as a premiere like I did with um, Hatfield on, on Tuesday, but having seen how long that stream is and having also seen how long I've wasted at the start of this stream, we're nearly half an hour in and we've not even started the game yet, um, I don't think I'll be putting it on premiere, but it will be live at 10 p.m. tonight, so you can go back and watch it. Obviously, the voting won't work on that anymore, so don't try and vote. Plus, it's also on Twitch and not YouTube where the voting works anyway, so we're all intelligent human beings. I don't need to point that out. Uh, and at some point in the future, I will be making thumbnails for them as well. Some kind of thumbnail. I'll have to come up with some ideas. I wish I had someone who could do thumbnails for me. Might see if Kurt can make some for me. That would be a huge help. So, how has everyone's week been, anyway? Everyone looking forward to the weekend? Do you still play Call of Duty, Ben? Since you've mentioned Black Ops. Anyone else sort of looked at the trailers for Black Ops 4 and just thought, meh? Even, like, there's a couple of people I watch who were seasoned Call of Duty players. Uh, and even they're saying they're not that excited for it. I think that, that tells you all you need to know. And it's it's very true still that they're... they're I don't want to say they're ripping off other game developers because 
That's probably not the smartest thing to say. But, they are copying the whole Battle Royale thing. It's not an original idea now. There's about 20 games coming out in the next couple of years that have all got Battle Royale modes added. I wouldn't be surprised if Red Dead had a Battle Royale mode somewhere hidden within within it. Uh, so the fact is, you know, Activision are marketing it as, oh, it's a Call of Duty, it won't have a campaign mode, but it will have Battle Royale. So everyone's just going to be either in Search and Destroy, or whatever it's called, or Battle Royale, and that's it. And they're going to charge 60 quid for a game that really only has two game modes. So stupid. And yet people that go and complain about Rockstar supposedly being cash cows, despite the fact that they are a business and they have to make money somewhere, um, they'll go away, they'll go ahead and buy Call of Duty and then go on about what a great game it is. I do love that. You know, Rockstar, the fact is... Grand Theft Auto 5 was released just over five years ago now on uh, 360 and PS3 and then the next gen came out and then they released it on PC oh yeah zombies yeah I thought I'd forgotten about them well I tried my hardest to forget about them um, but yeah Rockstar are still supporting a game that came out over five years ago and okay they charge for shark cards they're optional, mind. People seem to forget that. They are entirely optional. You do not have to buy them. There's no compulsory purchase required. The fact is that the main bulk of the game, plus all the DLC, things like the heists, the extra vehicles, the doomsday heist, uh, the smugglers run, the gun running. I'm trying to remember all their names now. Uh, import, export. They're all free. Free DLC for a game that's been going for nearly six years. Um, and it's still being supported. You know, they're updating it regularly. They're fixing bugs. They're making little tweaks here and there. Uh, after hours as well. You know, you could buy nightclubs now. And that's a huge piece of DLC. It's not like they're just starting to wind it down in preparation for their next project. They've been working on that whilst working on GTA 6 because they always start working on the next GTA before the previous one is released that's just a Rockstar thing uh, I was about to say they've been working on Red Dead 2 as well but I know that's a separate team within Rockstar that would have done that um, and I it, it really does make me laugh when I go on Instagram or Facebook and they, I always see their posts saying uh, you know this week they've got double money on this mission double RP on this mission and you can buy a really long list of vehicles for somewhere between 20 and 50 percent off and there's always someone in the comments going yeah Rockstar you just want more of our money don't you and I really want Rockstar to reply to that and say well yeah that's how business works like if we just gave away all our stuff for free we wouldn't be in jobs for very long would we just the entitlement is so strong on social media everyone just assumes that they should get what they want for the price that they want it it's yeah it actually it it makes me very depressed when I look at things like that because it's not like no one's doing it as a joke no one's trying to do a parody that there are people out there that genuinely act like that and believe like that <sighs> anyway the game is loaded old guitar George here twanging away right new map do we have water? I bet we don't. I did say I don't care now. There's no water along the top. Scroll down. And there's no water along the bottom. Okay. So I need to try and make money. Pause game. There's no water. Absolutely no water. Let's start in Washington. It's relatively central in terms of the map. This game is very detailed, by the way. It's very badly optimized, but very well detailed. Like, that's a very nice looking site. <laughs> Book now, sea cruise. Okay, which sea? Which sea are they thinking? Yeah, uh, I was actually talking about Telltale yesterday, I think it was, because um, uh, Dylan mentioned it. 
I think it's sad. I never played any Telltale games on stream, but I was actually a big fan of, of their work. I liked watching playthroughs. It was never a game that I felt I could play myself, but I could sit and watch uh, a playlist of someone else playing it. Uh, we got too many road choices. I just want a simple road. Oh yeah, it's click and drag in this game. Forgot about that. We'll do that, and we'll do... Uh, oops. Thought this was an upgrade. Is that... Oh, that's an upgrade. There we go. So yeah, I'm sad to see Telltale go. I don't know the whole story. Uh, I know that they, they, the well, the rumor going around and the story going around is they overreached. They tried to do too much in one go, particularly this year. I also think it's a good example of why basing all of your products off other people's intellectual property probably isn't the best way to go. Because um, I imagine the licensing fees were very, very high for Telltale. And that's probably a part of it as well. But yeah, I, I enjoyed... I enjoyed watching videos of their games, so I'm sad to see them go. Uh, let's try and build something... I mean, this is huge. I saw this before when I was... Uh, I went on the Steam Workshop last night to... Uh, oops. I didn't want to do that. Well, there goes all my money. How much money have I got? Two million. I'm trying to remember how you rotate stuff. I genuinely can't remember. Come on. I think something like this, maybe. As soon as I remember how to rotate stuff. Ah. <sighs> Transport, fever, rotate. N and M. Of course! Oh, it's so obvious when you say it out loud. N and M. N for ro m motate and N for notate. Actually, notate is a word, but motate most definitely is not. Right. So I want to build you. Actually, yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to connect it to the road. I don't care about buildings getting destroyed at this point. There. Boom. That is our bus stop. Uh, you also can't change what side of the road vehicles drive on, can you? Which I think is really annoying. Also, why has that not been destroyed? That should have gone. I don't know. Right, uh, the next thing I need is a depot. Road depot. I'm going to put that right next to the, the hub. Come on. Stop telling me it's not possible. There we go. Right, uh, now I'm going to do lines. So, actually no I'm not because I need to build the rest of the bus stops first, don't I? What's an international stop when it's at home? Don't know. I'm just going to put the default ones for now. So I'm going to put one here with one directly opposite. Uh, one here with one directly opposite. Whoops. Zooming in and out like a madman here as well. One there. And one there. One there and one there. And... One there. One there. Uh, and one there. And one there. Something like that. And then the first line... Is going to go... Here... Here, here, uh, come on, there, 
there, there, there. Like so. So you're going to be... This is Washington, right? Yeah. So you're going to be Washington bus plus for... Actually, no. Sorry. Whoop. Pressed enter instead of backspace. Many embarrassing messages have been sent in the past because of that. Minus. That's what I wanted to do there. And then you're going to do this. Uh, this. 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 And this. And you are Washington Bus Plus. There we go. Go into the depot. Uh, buy road vehicles. We want stagecoaches. One. Oh, God. Two, three, four. You're all going to be minus. One, two, three, four. You're all going to be plus. Okay. They basically forced their devs to do overtime and didn't pay them in their... Uh, then their deal with Netflix to do Stranger Things game fell through and the company went bankrupt and fired almost everyone without paying severance. Yeah. I know that... Uh, oh, I can unpause the game now. Uh, they said that they had 25 people that will be staying on to fulfill their remaining commitments. And I'm assuming that means Minecraft uh, story mode. But yeah, there's there's a lot of sort of dodgy stuff coming out about lots of companies at the moment, so I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be upset, but I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so Washington is hopefully going to start earning us money. I'm just looking at where we could do Lisk. Oh, I always get this right. Is it Liskard? Liskyard? Might be a place to do money making as well. Maybe I should just manage Washington to start with. Uh, I do want to build a railway station, but I think I'm going to end up building it out of town. If I go here, I've got lots of railway stations that we could build, including underground ones. So I could end up building an underground station in the middle of uh, Washington. Like uh, here, for example. If I use Notate, I could feasibly build it there. That looks quite nice, actually. Might be worth doing. Um, it's also got generic station, progressive, curvature station. I'm trying to remember what it means by... Oh yeah, radius arc. So I could do 5,000. Except none of these actually do anything. Oh! No. <laughs> Sides, maybe? No? Transit tracks. What's that all about? Oh, have I crashed the game? Ah, okay. I get it. So if I do two... Very good. So I can bump this up to two. This is quite express track. Very nice, actually. I like that. Uh, I've no idea what that's doing. Or what any of this is doing, for that matter. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this station. Is it curving? Oh, it is a little. So what if I did 500? 2,000? It's probably curving. I don't know. Um, half triangle. Hello. Hello. 
Is this scrollable? Ah. Right, I get it now. So you're a triangle station. So this would be for building junctions. So if I... So two tracks on A, two tracks on B. Uh, yeah, let's build it around this way, actually. I'm not actually going to build it, because it's going to cost an arm and a leg. But I want to see... What this is going to look like. So if I do 5,000... And then 5,000. Is that going to work? Polarity. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to remind my... Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Alright. So, I, I think if I do 500 and 500... That'll give you a proper triangle shape. Maybe even 250. I like that, actually. I think that's a very cool feature. The modders have, have definitely done a lot with this game. Uh, leftmost platform, no. Oh, hello. That's an underbridge, right? Central platform, no. Rightmost platform? If I change that to no? If I put central platform back on... See, I don't know what I've done there. Uh, shortest platform. So there's a lot of options, actually. There are a lot of options. Uh, are we profitable? Wow. Not only are we not profitable, we are not profitable by some distance. Yeah, we're not making much money right now. I was debating whether to start with unlimited money and just build a network. What was that cha-ching? Obviously wasn't us making any money. I'm also going to save the game. Uh, M4J Game Night. Overwrite that. This line's starting to make money. There's a bus every 90 seconds. Which I think it's pretty good. That is really loud, by the way. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that. So you might not be able to hear the game now. Oh, you're also seeing my Steam messages. That's nice. I've got this on window capture at the moment, because when I went on uh, game capture, it wasn't coming up. So there you go. Now we know where Josh is. He's watching TV. I'm really worried about this one. We're not making any money with it, are we? That is a little bit concerning. Uh, I'm also going to do auto replacement. So replace it with that for now. Oh no, apparently we are making money. Us transported. Finances. That's what I want. So, this has gone down. 
Oh, he's coming up. Alright, we might be profitable soon then. That's good to know. Uh, this is the one that's alarmingly bad. Again, it might just be whilst the vehicles get their rhythm. Because they do auto space as time goes on. This is quite a busy junction here as well, actually. With all the bus movements going on. I do feel like we need a second town. But there's no... The nearest town is Bournemouth. We could set up another bus service in Bournemouth. I might do that. The only thing is we won't be able to link Bournemouth to Washington yet. Because I think it's too far a distance. We won't get any money from it. So it doesn't make sense to do that. Uh, I'm going to do this. Let's see if I can build it there. I also have absolutely no idea what that's... What I mean, I know what that says. I have no idea what that means. Okay, that's that. Uh, I don't know what these words mean. Okay, that does that. So you can have multiple births by the looks of it. I'm going to put it on tram so I can see. Okay, so there's a lay-by there as well. And then this one must be on the other side. Yeah. I won't put it there because that's way too expensive, but I might build it out here. Yeah, main connection will be interrupted. I'm okay with that because I'm going to build this out here. Uh, can I build the longer version? Oh, it's not a longer version. It just turns the vehicles round. I'm actually going to do it this way round. Something a bit like that. Oh, too much curvature. Alright, something a bit like that. And then I'm going to link these up again. Okie dokie. You can customise these, I think, once. Or maybe not. I think there's a way. I think there's a way. Alright, Bournemouth. I'm going to build some bus stops. I think the uh, the Telltale thing, definitely, Ben, it's, it's made me a bit more conscious about XVI. Making sure we don't end up going down that route. I don't know about you. It's kind of it's a real eye opener, isn't it? When you see other companies that you really think, like, how how have Telltale ended up going under? I still don't really believe it. You know, it's such a. I thought they were doing fine. You know, Batman, big game, but there was obviously a lot going on under the surface that they didn't want us to know about. Oh, come on, also save. Oh, wow. Autosave makes the game not respond. <laughs> there we go. Right. Um, this road just got auto-built. And I'm actually tempted to build... Maybe not that one again. But this. On the outskirts of town here as well. Actually, I mean... What's the next town over? Celsi. I might replicate what I've done over on the other side. But not the big one this time. I'll go with this size. Um, and I will put bus, bus, bus. And connect it up like so. And then connect those up. There we are. Right. Uh, vehicle depot. I'm going to build it here. I will put another couple of bus stops on this bit of road, actually. Sort of. 
One there, maybe. One there. Alright, are we still not making money? Not quite. Soon, I hope. So, uh, let's start here. And we're going to go here. Uh, here. Here. And then here. Here. And just go around the outside. And then back up this way. To Bournemouth South. So is that the way around it goes? So if that's South, I might rename that one North. Because Annex just seems a bit weird. Good evening, Josh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you are Bournemouth... Bus, uh, technically or anti-clockwise, so I suppose I'm going to do that. One piece of advice, Josh, uh, that I need immediately is, for some reason, we did two map loads. I've got the experimental map turned on. Um, so, was it 256 squared kilometers or whatever the number is? Uh, and for some reason, both times I spawned in, we had no water, like no rivers, no seas, nothing. Is there something that I've missed that's really blatant, or maybe is it just in experimental mode there's no rivers? What have I missed? Do your Bournemouth bus plus. And then this one is going to be here. Um... Find me on Google. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Do you know what I'm going to do for this one? Uh, not that one. Completely the wrong thing. Welcome to M4J Game Night, Google. We're going to have a, a rip-roaring old time here. Right, so you. Add stop. So, uh, Bournemouth South, then here, Bournemouth North, here, and then back to Bournemouth South. And you're just going to be Bournemouth Bus North South. Okie dokie. I don't know. That's the thing. It was a random seed. It was a random seed generation, and there was just no water. So, I mean, there, I, I didn't even see an option to add water. That's uh, another point I'll make. Can you move stops here? Uh, can you move stops here? Terminal 1. Do you know what? I'm just going to remap these. Easier. Absolutely easier. So you're the anti-clockwise one. So you're literally going to go bop. Um, two. Three. Four. Five. Uh, six. Yep. Seven. Eight. I think I've just remembered the way I was supposed to do it, actually. Nine. 10 and 11. Alright, is it supposed to be you click on the stop before? So in this case, it's between 7, uh, no, sorry, it's between 9 and 10. So if I click on 10 and then do this. No. But I suppose what I could do is remove that one, remove that one, and just do there. And then there. <clears throat> it is likely then that there was no water intended to be on the map. So all the random seeds that I generated, and despite there being no option to add water, uh, they all end up just spawning with no water. Because that's, that's a whole element of the game now that I can't do. 
There's no place where I can add boats. You don't have to click on the individual stop shelters to add a stop either. As long as you click the stop icon, it should add the stop in the appropriate place. Okay, if it doesn't, you can respect the sh you can respect the shelter it goes to by remapping the terminal of that stop it goes. Okay, yes, I get you, I get you. As yeah, so your Bournemouth North. Now I've mapped out three routes, but at the moment there's no need to have the north south route actually have vehicles running on it. So I'm just going to buy four here, set you all to Bournemouth Anti. One, two, three, four, set you all to Bournemouth Non Anti. And uh, let you go. Oh, I like these uh, subways that we've got going on. Very nice. Very posh. So yeah, at the moment, you're running into... Actually, yeah. Terminals. So one... Okay, I'm going to split these up a little bit. So you... Here. Let's have you go into three. Actually, let's have you go into two. And we'll have you go into three. And then at Bournemouth North, we'll have you go into two. And you go into three. And just to check, apart from school lane, your one's all the way. Good, good. Uh, ah. Maybe I don't want you going into three then. Alright, hang on. Bournemouth South, you can also go into 2. And Bournemouth North, you can also go into 2. In the interest of simplicity. Right. Reassign, not respect. Yeah, cool. Good, right. Uh, so hopefully, these start getting profitable. I'm not sure what mod I've got that changed the icon, by the way, to the London Underground thing. But I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like it. I think it's pretty cool. So there's lots of people living in Bournemouth, so I'd like to think at some point we will start making some money. Uh, in fact, Washington is making money. The anti-clockwise one is. The clockwise one is still losing us. Hemorrhaging money. You'd think people would want to run both ways around the city, but apparently not. If worse comes to worst, I'm just going to scrap the anti-clockwise routes and just... Actually, no, I'm going to scrap the clockwise routes and just have the anti-clockwise ones. We'll see. I also still really like the idea of building an underground station here in Washington. Directly outside this. Maybe moving the terminal main ter oh, I was about to say move the main terminal. But I think we're kind of stuck with the way I've built that actually. Well, I mean I can hear lots of cha ching. Washington bus isn't quite as profitable as I'd like still. Really, the money comes from moving around goods, but everything's so far away. So are you, you're a coal mine, and you're a steel mill. I could have built a rail route between these two, actually. I don't think I've got enough money to do that now. If you scrap any route, I would scrap the dark blue one. Well, it's not got any vehicles running on it. You're talking about Bournemouth Bus North-South, which has no vehicles on it, so it's not gaining or losing me any money at the moment. Yeah, it's not gaining or losing me any money. And that's set up for when we have other... So if we link Bournemouth up to uh, Celsi, and then if we link Bournemouth up to Washington, it'll be running... The line will be running from this terminal here. And this terminal here. I suppose what I could do, instead of having it go up and then down and round. I could just have it go this way around all of Bournemouth and then up and then round all of Bournemouth and back and just have one line do that. And then we don't need as many vehicles. If we had six vehicles doing that instead of four on each doing the opposite uh, or the opposing routes, that might save us some money. 
Does this have a, an upkeep cost, by, any, by the way? I don't think it does. I can also take out a loan if necessary. Alright, I'm going to take a massive gamble and try and get a rail route linked up between these. Is there steel? Hang on, what is it? Uh, iron ore, that is, isn't it? Told me then. Yeah, iron ore. Are there any iron ore mines nearby? What are you? You're another coal mine. I'm actually thinking wood might be the uh, the best option. Transporting wood. Because there's a forest here. And there's a lumber mill over here. What is that route which is shorter but it involves going round or through a hill. This is almost where I miss the days of open TTD. You know, it's so much easier to plan out routes. Particularly when you had a load of money, you could just bulldoze everything. So that's a sawmill. And that's... Oh, that's an iron ore mine. That's a forest, though. Actually, if there's an iron ore mine there, link those up, and then have coal coming in from there. We might be able to do this. Let's go station. Come on. Cargo station without middle ramp. 2. 120. Actually, we need a lot longer than that. 160, maybe? I kind of want it shaped like this as well. Oh, wow. I don't think we need it quite that long. Maybe this. I mean, that's half a million right there. There must be a cheaper... That's a lot cheaper if I build it there. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to link... Uh, we don't need that type. Thank you. Let's see. We want... Wow, fence, nice. Small country road. You'll you'll do fine. There we go. Um All right, now we need a station over here at the coal mine. Is there an option Uh whoops. 400 is too long. Is there an option to have the... I thought there was a, a one where... Oh, there we go. That one. That works a lot better for, for what I want to do here. So I can build you... Like there. And then... Where was the iron ore? There. So build another one here, like that. Uh, no, I don't want track ballast. I want actual track. I like that we've got all these different rail types as well, but I think there's, there's almost too many rail types. All right, if I just go and build a straight line or, you know, crow flies kind of thing, uh, between these two stations. How much my eye is going to water? Did I say 21 million? We're not building this side first. In fact, why am I building this side first? Build the short side first, dipstick. Uh, let's go out from here. And keep it as close to the ground as possible. And therefore, spend as little m money terraforming as possible. There we go. That's not bad. Uh, and for now... Put a depot... 
Why is that a depot? Engine shed. Come on, you dumb thing. Alright, no one's yelling at me, so I haven't done anything completely wrong yet. Uh, I'm just debating what to do with this one, actually. How much is that? 79k. Wow, 184k. But that is way more realistic. Track ladders. I just want to see for shiggles what 10 looks like. Wow. I like that actually. That's a very nice feature. That'll make building terminal stations a lot easier. I'm really dawdling. What the hell am I doing? Right. Um, I'm just going to build you like there. Because then I can build the worst rails possible. Like 10 mile an hour rails. To join these up. So you can go there. Actually. Uh, that's totally not right. Move you back a little bit. Actually no. I do want you close. I do want you close. There's fine. I was going to build a second one to come around like this. I suppose I could still. Let's see, if I build it alongside for a little bit, like that, and then connect you up, like that. Okay. I think I've done that right. Signals. UK path signal sounds good to me. So we're going to put you there, and we're going to put you there, like that. All right. Oh, I like that symbol as well. So you are going to go there to there. I don't like the fact that you're called north. So let's change that. Um, am I going to do full load? What have we got? Full load any, full load all, or unload. We'll do load if available just for now. And you're going to be Bournemouth Coal. But I don't like that you're called this. So I'm going to change you to Bournemouth Mines. Yes, I know that. But you do get money just for delivering coal, don't you? God, I hope you do. So you're going to be Bournemouth Steel Mill. Otherwise, I've made a grave mistake. Alright, buy vehicles. Uh, now, what's the gradient like on the line? Gradient looks pretty good. It's slightly uphill to the mine, which I'm okay with, because it means the heavy load will accelerate a lot quicker down the hill. So I'm going to go with something like this, maybe? How much are you? 193,000. Tractive effort of 20 kilonewtons. You are 45 kilonewtons. I think one of them's fine. Need somewhere for the steel to go, then whatever the steel gets made into a town for that product to be delivered. Don't you just get money for delivering coal to a steel mill, though? I didn't think you had to uh, finish the chain. That's if you want to get the most money. Uh, what do I want? Open wagon? British. Five plank open wagon. Coal. Oh, I've not got enough money. Uh, all right, I'm going to take out. How much are these? Where's cost? Oh, there. Wow, that's that actually costs a lot of money. 
Right, I'm going to borrow another million so I can buy three more of these. Bournemouth coal. Go on, off you go. Alright, I'm going to leave you up there for a second. I'm going to go into fast forward. Uh, why are you going that way first? I mean, you're not seriously telling me that I have to then get iron delivered here and then take this to... I mean, what is this? Slag and steel. And then I've got to deliver those to somewhere else just to then get money. Surely I can get money just for delivering coal. Of which I have got some, which is good to see. If I just run this down the hill to the mill, surely I get paid for that. How fast are you going? 20 miles an hour? Okay. I could live with that, I suppose. What's your production? 24. 26. Are oh, you going up? Maybe it's because we're actually servicing. Wow, that's 20. What's the capacity of 30? Okay. That's good then. So we've nearly filled up a train. That's very good to see. Alright, come on, chugger. Do your thing. There you go. Load up. So you got 26 out of 30. Let's see how much money this gets me. Please be lots. Or please be some. Let's start with some and work upwards. Please be some. <coughs> please be some. Don't you shaft me now, game. Don't you shaft me now. There we go. 165k. Nice. So this line... is already in profit. The buses are struggling still. But I think if I can get the railway to subsidise the buses, then we might not do too bad. The problem I've got now, of course, is I need to link up the iron ore. I think that's the closest one. If there is a closer one, then I will do that one instead. Believe me, I will do that one instead. But I'm not seeing any. It's really expensive to link that over. We'll have to have more than one train running on that line. The other option, of course, is we just deliver more coal. So there's another coal mine there. So I could build another line branching off, coming through down here. And then... So what are you? You're a coal mine. Do you know what? I might just do that. I might just link up a second coal mine. Or does this stop production? If it's not got enough being delivered to it. Does it fill up? Is that what you were trying to tell me? Ah. Okay, so eventually that will stop. Whoops. That will stop earning money. 146,000 that time. Not as full. What are you up to? Seven. Maybe I need to run more buses as well. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that. Right. So, Bournemouth bus, I'm going to tweak things slightly. So Bournemouth bus plus uh, vehicles there's an option here isn't there? Yeah. Send all vehicles to depot and sell. Uh, I'm then going to delete the line which is that and then I'm going to select this one. I probably didn't need to sell those actually. I could have just done it without that but oh well. Right. Delete all the stops. I'm going to go here, uh, and you said select the icon, didn't you? So there, 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 and there, and then back.
And the ones in the middle... Whoops. So there's two in the middle. Okay, I, I, I... Yeah, okay. I've thought of an idea. Um, if I put... going to cost a lot of money. If I demolish that, I'm going to have to take out another quick loan. God, I hope this pays back. Stick you there. <coughs> okay, um, so... What's this, by the way? Oh, what does that do? Can I click and drag it? No? Yeah, remove all stations. So I want you to go here, 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 uh, here, 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 and here, and then back down this, up here, back down there, there and then back to there. Alright, I can now remove this stop. Because we don't need it anymore. This... I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, and then I want to buy four more... or two... five... three more! And just put you on that. Uh, and I can actually rename you from Bournemouth Bus minus to just Bournemouth Bus. Three minute frequency isn't good. Ah, yeah, I see. I see what you mean. I'm going to give it some time. Let's see if that frequency comes down. And if it's not looking likely, I mean, it's not looking likely at the moment, is it? Certainly not. Approximate annual throughput per station is only 17. Alright. Send you out as well. 122 seconds. Okay. Hundred and one seconds. So what's that? That's a minute forty-two. Because it's just gone up to hundred and two. gone up to 103. I'll let them space out a bit more. What's wrong with you? You've not got an interrupted street connection though, have you? No. Stop complaining. Whining and whinging. They did, temporarily, but then I put this in. It should count that as a through road, shouldn't it? Otherwise, what's the point of it? 101 is good. Okay. Oh, auto save. Just got to wait six hours whilst the game uh, recalibrates. This up here, this is all new, isn't it? It's a new housing estate. So I might put a second line in in the future that just loops around this area. Uh, it doesn't even come out here. Maybe starts here and goes around and back. Something like that. Uh, again, I think I'd do an anti-clockwise route if I did that. I don't think you need a clockwise anti and an anti-clockwise. So, uh, this line. I'm going to sell all those vehicles. So you're running every six minutes and you're losing money. That's not good. And there's nothing waiting. Why is there nothing wet? You've got no production. Ah. Problem. Are you full? No. Not yet, anyway. So I need to get iron ore in from somewhere. 
if I want that line to work. Either that or I just cut my losses and sell the train. And try and make money from the buses. It's what I meant by I need your advice, Josh. How the hell do you make money in this game? Because you're, you're empty, aren't you? Yeah, you're empty. And you're not getting anything. So... I'm just going to sell the... Really? Oh, because you went past the... I'm going to sell the train for the time being. Uh, I'm also going to delete that line. The headway here is pretty good. Not great, but it's pretty good. The one here is 100 seconds, which looks fine. And it's almost breaking even, actually. So that's good. What does this button do? Automatic vehicle. Oh, yeah. Automatic. I should probably set up that up for this, actually. Just in case. As soon as we get the non-horse drawn carriages, I think that will help things as well. Create the rest of the chain. Yeah, that's my problem right now is I can't afford the rest of the chain. It was saying it's going to cost about 21 million to link. Where is it? Here. Unless I did it, uh, I'll try. Actually, I'll try doing it in the small chunks because I didn't actually try that, did I? So what's that? Seventeen thousand there. Slight downhill. Some more downhill. I need it to not be raised up like that. It's on an. It's problem is we're on a slope here. And now we're going up the other way. Mm, see, that's going to be a big problem. Trying to get this train up the hill. The only thing I can think of is maybe try and go around the hill. So I don't think there's a hill over this way. There's a bit of a, a cutting that we're going to have to dig here. I think if I keep going around like so. That looks expensive. Let's go this way. I think we are going to have to climb up a little bit at the end. But, I mean, this is... This is okay. This is okay. And then here, I can just do one last leap for freedom. I think it's always going to be that expensive, this bit. No matter how I try and style it out. Alright, now I need some passing loops. So I think I'm going to make the first one directly after the cutting here. And essentially where there's flat land, we're going to put a passing loop. So cut in again just here before the, the main cutting. Uh, and then the other side of this one, I think we're going to have the next passing loop. We're going to run around... So it's been a bit weird then. We're going to run around this side of it this time. Like this. And connect you up. Alright, and then the last one. Probably just after this level crossing. And just before the climb up to the mine. That's not the prettiest there, is it, actually? Can I replace that? It's a bit better. Alright, and we'll come out this way again. And come around. 
Uh, can I afford one more loan? I don't think I'm going to be able to afford a train yet. On any of the lines. So I'm just going to have to do that for now. Uh, signals. Yes, please. Now, road vehicles drive on the right, but I'm going to have trains drive on the left. Because I'm British and I can control that. At least. So, signal there. And then we'll have one up here. I kind of want to put this signal a bit further back. So they have a bit of a run up. Yeah. Alright. This side. Don't forget people in the chat, you can vote for what you want to see being played on the stream next week. Uh, bear with me just a second and I will remind you of the choices. So, you can vote for... Uh, Airport CEO, Cities in Motion, the first game, not the second one, Kerbal Space Program, Space Engineers, The Forest, or Another Week of Transport Fever. And the way you vote is you do exclamation mark vote, then you press the space bar, and then you type in the name of the game. It is cap sensitive, so Kerbal Space Program will be a capital K, capital S, capital P. Uh, I will close the poll at the end of the stream, and we'll find out which game is going to be played. So I just thought I probably should have a, an extra passing loop just outside this station here. It's relatively flat land and it's quite a distance between this and the next one. So it, it makes sense. There we go. And signal there. And signal there. Okay, now if I create the line, if I do that, and that, and this, my new worry is, I'm worried that this line's too long, and they won't actually use this. I mean, they've got lots of iron ore sat here, and they've got 58 stored. Uh, you're going to be changed to new key mine. Uh, it's CEO, Josh, and it's cap sensitive. So you have to put airport with a capital A and then CEO with a capital C E and then O. Uh, it wouldn't have counted it because um, Ben did Black Ops earlier as a joke. I know it did count it as CEO. Maybe it does do similar spellings. Yeah, so Ben did Black Ops as a joke and it voted for the forest. So I, I don't know how it works. It's witchcraft as far as I'm concerned. Right, Bournemouth bus is still losing me money. Washington bus is sort of making me money. I'm wondering if the Bournemouth one is just too many vehicles. Oh, hello. I've got a real not responding then. I'm going to do another hard save. Everything in this game is so slow. I know I'm on the experimental version of the map still, but oh, bloody hell. What's the headway now on the buses? 94. What's line 1? Oh, yeah. Uh, so you are going to be... I suppose you'll be new key. Because that's where you're coming from. Or. Yeah, the bus isn't making me much. And even then, once I've created steel and slag. I mean, where does slag go? Is that slag? No, you're planks. Steel needs to go to a machine factory, though. Is there such thing as a tool factory as well? Chemical, your oil well. Ah, oh, I could have done that one. Look, 
you need oil. You also need grain. That would have been good. Alright, Josh. Uh, your messages are appearing on the stream, by the way. Because um, I'm on windowed mode. Too much train simulator. That's the problem. So what's that? Grain and livestock. That's coal. So that's where slag goes. Slag and stone gets turned into construction material. Oi. I'm going to go bankrupt. I can tell you that now. I'm going to go bankrupt. There's no way in hell I'm going to make this profitable. So what's losing me the money? Or why am I not gaining money? Like, surely people are using this. Yeah, people are using it. It's just the running costs aren't outweighing the income. The running cost is always the same. The income seems to always be the same as well. So I'm just not earning enough money is the problem. I reckon though, if I linked up Bournemouth North here with Washington somehow, I reckon that will earn me some more money because people will start travelling between towns. But I'm not going to just build a bus line between them because I don't think that will work. But yeah, thanks for coming in, Josh. I hope you feel better. It sucks when you don't feel great. Alright, passenger station. I'm just going to go with something really simple for now. When I say that, this doesn't look very simple now, does it? I don't want those extra street connections. Can I turn those off? Uh, let's turn that one off. Yes, yeah, so you got this weird subway thing. I just don't want those road connections. Slope zero, main entry, middle. Uh, underground. Ah, there you go. So entry A surface, entry B none, entry C none. So entry A uh, yeah, both none. What about entry A then? Okay. So if I now build that there and then go build something over here at Washington I can fit it there but I think the hill's going to be too much so I, I reckon if I built it here and then just built a bus stop opposite. I think that would be better. Alright, so from here we're essentially just going to follow the road. Uh, okay, might have painted myself into a corner here with this station placement. That is quite a slope actually. I'm a little annoyed that I didn't see that beforehand. And that is also quite a slope. And this is where it all starts to go a bit wrong. How much money can I actually borrow? Alright, I can go up to 10 million. Surely I can make enough money out of that 10 million. So I reckon I need to cross the, rail, uh, the road here. And then I can keep going around the woods here and then run next to the road from here. 
Right, how much would this just cost if I just connected it up like that? Is that really two million? Ouch. Alright. What about... I mean, that costs 802,000 there, and we're not even near ground level. Yeah, just run along the ground, please. Like that. And just keep following it down. Uh... just a waste of money there, wasn't it? So are you right against the ground? Yes, you are. And then from here, I'm just going to take the plunge. Ooh, too much slope. Alright, I'm going to move this station. So I think that was part of the problem. So I, I reckon... Actually, I quite like that as a, uh, a level crossing idea. Is there such thing as an elevated station actually? There's a terminal station which I might build. Or there's the underground. Right, if I just built the underground station in the center of Washington where did I say I was going to build it? It was here wasn't it? And that would cost nine hundred thousand pounds and then I've still got to get the track up to ground level so that is unfeasible at its highest uh, I could build a station on a slope actually couldn't I if I went and built this see if I make it back on like that I'll need to um, set the. So was it? None. None. And none. Like that, and then somewhere there's a slope. There it is. Uh, so I want it to be minus ninety. Maybe even a hundred. Is that on a slope? I think it is as well. Yeah. Well, there you go. That links that up. And then if I build a passing loop somewhere around here. So if I build it to there and then build that like that. So I've built it closer to Washington because you have to climb up out of Washington whereas you uh, you don't have to climb up out of Bournemouth. So it makes more sense. What the hell happened there? What's going on? Uh, okay. I don't know what my game was doing there. That was really weird. Really weird. Um, right. Signals. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to put a signal there. And I built this loop deliberately long so I can put a second signal there. And then between those two signals, roughly halfway, uh, one there and one there. There we go. Now I need to build a depot. I'm actually going to build the depot directly behind Bournemouth Station. Like that. 
So I've still got 4 million to play with. So you're Bournemouth North. You're going to be Bournemouth North as well. I think they are classed as one station. I mean, there's a connection between them, so people should be able to walk. People better use this now. I'll be so annoyed if they don't. Uh, so you're going to be Washington. Yeah, Was just Washington's fine. And then um, build a bus station. Like that is fine. Where is... Actually, we'll build a couple more bus stops, or at least one more here. Alright, where's the line? Washington bus. So after Victoria Street, you're actually going to go there, 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 and then there, and then, uh, what shape was it? It would have been there, there, and there, right? Something like that. We are going to need more vehicles for this line, so I'll buy them now. Washington bus. Right. Now we're going to do this. So there to there. You're going to be Bournemouth. Washington. There we go. And then we're going to buy a train. Hopefully, we can afford. So, what, how much are you again? You're 193,000. Your tractive effort is 20 kilonewtons. Yours is 55. I think that is our best option, actually. Uh, and then we need some GWR short coaches are quite good. Although we've got the Express. So what, do these have max speeds? Yeah, your top speed is 37. Yours is 62. Yours is 31. Capacity is 6, 5, 8. I think this will be fine. Like that. So you can hold 24 passengers. Can I clone you? Yeah. Set all Bournemouth to Washington. And let's see what happens. Uh, is anyone else going to vote for what game they want to see played next week? I haven't actually decided what's going to happen if it's a tie. And I have a horrible feeling it is going to be a tie. Um, because the game I want to vote for hasn't been voted for yet. So if anyone else wants to vote, now is your chance. That looks pretty damn cool, doesn't it? It's a shame that they don't actually line up. Can I select that? Oh, wow. Holy hell. Uh, I'm scared. I don't know how to get rid of it. There we go. Whew. That was quite something. I'm scared. What am I talking about? <laughs> Alright, it might be a while before we get passengers actually turning up here to catch a train. That is a hell of a slope, mine. Look at that. I really want to see what it looks like when the train starts accelerating away. I'll tell you what, it's actually doing alright. It's doing alright there. Pull away. Uh, golfer, the options are... I really need to write these down somewhere else. Uh, airport CEO, Cities in Motion, Kerbal Space Program... Space Engineers, The Forest, or another week of um, Transport Fever. So you know how to vote. Exclamation mark, vote, space, and then the name of the game. They are all cap sensitive, remember. So you do have to make sure that you spell the, the name correctly. Apparently Moobot can predict what you're trying to say, but it's still better for everyone if you spell it correctly. Uh, oh, we have one passenger on board at this end. 
What about over here? None still. Oh, I hope this line gets used. Otherwise, it's going to be such a waste. Oh, there is someone waiting. There is someone waiting. Another feature of the game, actually, which I haven't shown off yet. If I come down at this end... We have got more people. Wow, 13 people wanting to go to uh, Bournemouth from Washington. So if I grab this and click... Uh, this. Hey, hey! We can ride on the train. Alright, golfers voted for Kerbal Space Program. Let me check the, uh... Okay. Um, Ben's not here anymore, so he can't recast his vote. But he voted for the forest, I think it was. So I'll have to bear that in mind. Alright, there are actually quite a few people waiting here now. That is a hell of a slope. Hell of a slope. <clears throat> Alright, heading for Bournemouth North. So it gets up a pretty good head of steam. 13 miles an hour out of this bit. This is probably the steepest bit of the line as well. So once it's out of this bit, it's relatively straightforward. And we are still gaining speed. It's got a good tractive effort. What I will do eventually, the reason I chose the big map, is I wanted to build a, a spine through the middle. A railway spine, high speed route. Um... So I imagine it's going to have underground stations at certain cities along the way. So this whole route will get rebuilt at some point. If we ever come back into the game, of course. There's no guarantees on that. You know, 18. Can we go up higher? 19. It's flattening out a little bit more now. 20. Those that are interested, seven minutes until last week's stream goes up on the YouTube channel. Uh, so if you want to watch that, link is now appeared via Mubot. Last week's was a lot of fun. We, we played Cast Against Humanity after the stream ended last week. For obvious reasons, I couldn't broadcast that on my channel, because we are a family-friendly channel. But uh, Tabletop Simulator is a very fun game. Very, very fun game. Alright, 30 miles an hour as we enter the loop. There goes the other train. It looks absolutely lovely. How much? Only one person heading back. We have got people waiting here now as well, though. One person again. One person there. So, I think... We're going to start seeing more people... Now. Um, moving between the two cities. Or towns, I suppose. And therefore, more money being made. So I wonder, is there a capacity issue in here? Uh, is this vehicle running full? No, this vehicle's running empty. Oh, that's not a good advert, is it? Uh, two there. Zero there. I'm wondering though if they if they get the coach up here and then they walk to this stop or this stop and then continue their journey. I wonder if the pathfinding is that intelligent. How many people have you got on board? Three. Okay. And how many people have you got on board? Seven. Okay. I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. I'm tempted to increase the trains to three, but I don't know if I've got the money to do that. I 
I have timed that quite nicely though, so no train has to stop and wait. So I'm quite happy with that. I just want to give the, the train a bit of a chance to become popular. There's eight people waiting here now. So more and more people are starting to use the train to travel between the two towns. That's a disappointing number that just got dropped off there though. 37,000 was that. Was it 37,000? Hang on, I'll watch it back. Yeah, 37,000. That is not a lot. But then this number is going closer to zero again. But the frequency is pretty bad. I don't want to upgrade. Is there a way to clone a train? Without having to send it to depot? Apparently not. So as it was that one. I'm not sure if I... I think it will disrupt the rhythm too much if I did that. We're almost breaking even actually on this line now. 10 people going down, 17 coming up. Okay, I think we're... I think we're going to break even on this route. And then the trains will start subsidising the buses. We haven't had the running costs yet for the line. Oh, we sort of have. Wow, that was a bad year. But this year, we're doing a lot better. It does take time. You do have to give it a chance. I'll admit that. I'm very impatient when it comes to things like this. I like to see an instant return. So yeah, we now need more buses at Bournemouth. And I imagine we're going to need more buses down at Washington now as well. Wow, that was 90,000 that was, wasn't it? That was a lot of money. We've got new houses springing up. That was an industrial building, Mark. It's not a house. How many have we got waiting at this end? Nine. So yeah, we need more buses now. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, we probably don't need six, but screw it. Bournemouth bus. Okay, and then come down this end. I'm going to add an 8 at this end. It's a Washington bus. Some of these stops, I imagine. Yeah, 5. That one's now got picked up. 7 and 1. Yeah, we need lots of vehicles. Got to get people around somehow. I'm amazed Washington Exchange hasn't got more people waiting. So I, th I think the next thing to do... Oh, Stevenage is over there. I have to connect Stevenage at some point, surely. But I think Nottingham is actually the, via the more viable option. So it would be to build over to here. Uh, with a station. I'll build the bus network first and then add a railway station here. Build a new railway station on this side of things. Uh, maybe connect this street up here so people get off at Washington Exchange, walk around to the railway station. And then eventually, when the time comes, build the new underground station. Uh, it was up there, but I might move it down here. And then link these two lines together. That sounds smart to me. Is this train running full? Nope. Is this train running full? Nope. But we got a good, regular flow of people. Steady flow. Travelling north and south. And the line is definitely profitable. And, in fact, Washington bus is also now profitable. Bournemouth bus still not quite. How far behind are we, though? So, yeah, we, we more than doubled our... Uh, income there. So we're very nearly back level. Very nearly. I did notice actually we had some new um, locomotives become available. So we're currently using this one. This one is now available. Let's see. So it's a hundred well, about uh, 50,000 more 
Uh, loading speed times one. Top speed is 37, which is three miles an hour faster, and its tractive effort is up a little bit. Uh, Evansy, I wish I could tell you. <laughs> I genuinely wish I could tell you. The truth is, I I uh, subscribed to a load of mods a long time ago. I'll pause the game for this because there might be a a mods list. All right, I won't I won't go to the main menu now to show you because it will take too long to load the game back up. Um, but I subscribed to a lot of mods like a year or so ago and forgot that I'd subscribed to them. Um, you're best off looking on a Steam forum. I, it wouldn't even say here, would it? They're good. It's a good mod, though, isn't it? It's a very good mod. I uh, don't want that. I want that. Oh, wow, yeah. We need to upgrade our buses very, very quickly. Uh, Evansy, if you are sticking around you can vote for what game you want to see being played next week you can also hit the follow button as well if you want to do so uh, so the choice is for the game next week you can choose between uh, airport CEO cities in motion Kerbal space program space engineers the forest or another week of transport fever in order to vote, you simply type in exclamation mark vote, then press the space bar, and then the name of the game. Bearing in mind it's cap sensitive, uh, and I have used caps in the name, so for example, if you want to vote for train fever, you do exclamation mark vote, press the space bar, and then train fever with a capital T and a capital F. And the winner will be announced at the end of the stream, which will be in another half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, Evan Z with the follow. Thank you very much. Stream boss taking a whack there as well. Apparently, Animus Prime is the stream boss now. I guess it just generates random people. I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the game will be announced at the end of the, of the stream as to which is one, and then next week we'll be playing that game. Uh, since this is north south orientation i probably should look so yeah that's north so steamage apparently is north of washington washington for those of you that don't know is a small village slash town just outside newcastle upon tyne um up in i think it might be in county durham or it might be in tyne and weir i can't remember exactly where it is so yeah washington is apparently north of stevenage uh, sorry, Stevenage is apparently north of Washington. We are making uh, lots of money. Still, Bournemouth is the only one that's not profitable. It so nearly is. I know it wants to be. I know it wants to be. It's just not getting there at the moment. I also just noticed when you followed there, Evansy, and this is not your fault at all, but for some reason uh, uh, Streamlabs has gone back to my old follow thing again. With my old logo. That's the, the annoying thing. I've uploaded two new logos to Streamlabs since. And they still defaults to the old one. I don't know. Right, yes. We are making money. Uh, I might go back and get rid of that coal line and iron ore mine. Or at least... I mean, it's not costing me money, I don't think, to have it exist. But it's certainly not earning me anything. I'm also tempted to add another passing loop. Maybe at this end of the line and add a third train to keep up with demand. So I think uh, let's do it to there for now and then build that like that. There we go. Yeah, half the mods I subscribe to I've not even had a chance to use yet in this uh, this stream. I subscribe to a lot of aircraft mods, things like that. Uh, and I've got this weird thing that no water generated in the map. I don't know if that's an actual thing or whether I've got a bug, but um, I've got no water. So no boats, sadly. 
Come on, there we go. And we'll build this around to, let's say, there. And then connect that up like that. Alright, so yeah, there's still passengers left over. Are you running full? Not quite, but almost. I think it's 50 items I've subscribed to, which is about 50 more than I thought I ever would subscribe to. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Replacement, and then choose... I kind of like the look of that one. Oh, it's tractive effort. It's awful. Absolute dirt. So I think it's going to be this one. Turn you on. Uh, and then wagons. I think you're still good enough. There you go. And we'll increase the size of the train as well to five... Something like that. Uh, what was that other option that I just completely didn't look at? Lifespan percentage. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Alright, so I am going to add a third train to this route, which is this one. And then wagons, it was four of these. And there goes my money. Set line, Bournemouth, Washington. Why are you still... But you have got connections. Moaning, whinging, moaning, whinger. Especially, yeah, once again, the problem is actually here. Getting people back into town. Don't tell me I need even more road vehicles. That's insane. Oh, that was good passing there. Good skill from the drivers there. Alright, this station I want to change the look of. Um, so I can't increase... What does this do? Height in millimetres. Oh, is it lifting it up? I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. Help. Um, I'm going to cancel that. For now. Start again. Whatever I did, I made the game incredibly laggy. Josh isn't here to help me. General... I thought it said general attitude then. General altitude... Uh, fences, yeah, I don't, mm. can I zoom in and see what I'm actually doing here? Oh, the lag. So I only want one platform. That's what I wanted to change. I think that's right up this one. Yeah, leftmost platform or rightmost platform. Uh, I'm going to turn off the rightmost. I'm going to apply that, just so I can get rid of this lag. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, oh dear. No path. How have you not got a path? Oh, you've got a path? What are you talking about? Yeah, you got a path. Weird. I think I guess because I changed it whilst it was in the platform. All right, I'm gonna wait till I've got a bit more money coming in now. Try and make any more tweaks. So Bournemouth bus, we need more buses in Bournemouth. Even more buses. We've got something like oh wow yeah we do need more buses. Holy moly right. I'm just gonna buy all the buses. Ten. That should be enough, shouldn't it? 
Bournemouth bus. Each one holds four, and some of those stops in the centre of town there had 26 people, 27, 28, 29 people waiting. So, adding an extra capacity of 40 to the map, not a bad idea. I do like how it, it spreads the vehicles as well, where they start from. That's good. I can understand when a game lags when it's got so much going on at one time. The pathfinding in this game is quite something. Really what we need. Yeah, there's 40 people there. I think we're going to need even more buses, you know. As soon as they increase the capacity of vehicles, like once we get proper buses with proper capacity, I'll be happy then. Especially as not everyone is getting off here. Like, only two people might get off and two people get on. And then there's still 40 people left waiting for a bus. Ultimately, we want we want all of our lines to be in the green. Washington now is. Headway's 30 seconds. Even here, the headway's only 30 seconds. I need to try and get that down a bit more. I'd like there to be sort of 10 seconds, maybe 20 between vehicles. So, like, up here... We're dealing with demand fairly well. That vehicle's empty. I guess that one happened to arrive when there was no train here. You've now got 13 people heading back north. So yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I keep turning the camera around as well. I not I normally like to have the camera aligned to the north. So I'm going to do that. I'll try and remember to keep it like that from now on. So yeah, the new underground route. The railway will sort of dive underground around here somewhere and will go straight through Washington with a new station. I like the idea of building it here because there's less it's less inconvenient to destroy buildings when you build it in the middle of a square like this. And then we can just build a road, join it to here, and then this bus stop becomes more popular because people want to get on and off to catch the train. 18 people there. 14 there. 23 there. Yeah, we're making a killing now. Got to keep the momentum going, though. We can't slow down. Can't afford any more trains, though, so it is literally just buying buses from here on. It's earning us over a quarter of a million. Still Bournemouth. I mean, the running costs are going to go through the roof for a little bit, so let's try and uh, equalise that. We're almost back to a million again, though. So I'm quite happy with that. <clears throat> Alright, everyone else in the stream chat, why not hit the follow button? And why not vote for what game you want to see next as well? Evansy, have you voted? You know, feel free to vote for Train Fever again if you want to watch it again next week. I've got no problem with that. It's why it's an option. Uh, last week we did Tabletop Simulator, so this week we did Train Fever. Who knows what we're going to be playing next week? Only time will tell. Time and some strategic voting. Another autosave. I like the fact I can see the uh, cha-chings coming from Washington as well. God, can you imagine that? In real life, Bournemouth and Washington are at opposite ends of the country. And yet, transport fever, they're a short train right away. Aha! Evansy has voted for transport fever. I thought you might. I thought you might. I had a sneaking suspicion. Okay, interesting. So we've got industrial buildings springing up here. So not only will people be getting the bus here to catch the train to Washington, they're also potentially getting the bus here in order to get uh, the bus to work. Which I think is interesting. This is, I feel, a good opportunity to create the north-south bus link. I do enjoy a model railway. Amen to that. If you uh, like games like this, I've got a Cities in Motion 2 series on my YouTube channel at the moment. Um, in fact, the latest episode went out just over two hours ago. So again, if you follow the link in the chat to my YouTube channel, uh, you can go check that out. Because I believe when Train Fever was first created, 
Uh, the, the developers said that it was partly inspired by Cities in Motion. So there's a nice link there. We're starting to lower the uh, demand here. So if they go down there, where do they come up? I'm assuming these are all linked. Like this is linked to this, as well as to this and this. Who knows? Oh, they did surface over here, I think. So yeah, they disappear down there and come up again over there. They they teleport bloody fast, I tell you. Got nine people on board. I think we're starting to saturate the uh, demand here a little bit, which I'm not against. I think that's a good thing. Are we making money in Bournemouth yet? Still not quite. We're so close though. Look at that, six thousand at the moment. Ah, good. Uh, what was it, out of interest, in case people ask me again in the future? I feel really bad when someone asks me a question and I can't answer it. So what do I do now? Do I just wait for money, or shall I start building another connection somewhere? If I got a successful bus line going in uh, Senli, uh, sorry, not Senli, Selsi, for example, then I could extend the railway down here. Icons Glass UK. Okay, thank you. I'll remember that. Icons Glass UK. Here's a nice mod. I'm not quite sure... Because um, I know they do have Randalls in London for the buses, but it's not the overground... Uh, overground. It's not the underground Randall. It's a uh, all red one. So I'm not sure why they chose the underground one for buses. Maybe because it's trams as well, I suppose. But even then, the tram randle is different to the buses and the underground and the overground. So, I don't know. Uh, there's a new horse cart. There's a new Great Western coach. There's a new Great Western loco. Any improvements with the old... Um, let's see. Aha! How fast can you go? 11 miles an hour, you can go 9 miles an hour. And the capacity's higher. We're doing it. Bournemouth, replace now. Hell yes. That is a worthy investment. Having that extra one person could be an absolute game changer, believe it or not. And then you, I'm just going to set up to auto-renew when you get to the right age. So you've now changed. Are you running full? Uh, no, I don't want to set the person. Yeah, you're running full. You're now running full. Cool. So we, they can now run faster and with more people on board. Yeah, they're, they're really nice. They're really nice icons. Alright, I think I'll go for another 20 minutes. Oh, Sparky's playing Hearts of Iron. Apologies for the Steam notes coming up at the bottom. I did try and do this because I'm playing it in windowed mode. Um, for some reason, game capture on OBS wasn't working, so I had to go into window capture. So you're seeing everything that pops up in the window, including the uh, Steam notifications at the bottom. I think we're, we are satisfying demand now. Just about. Although when a train comes in, you know, 20 people will get off and walk over here. Yeah, see it's gone up, because the train must have come in. So if I now go here, Bournemouth buses still not quite profitable. In fact, that number's gone down. Uh, let's look at the charts. So we're carrying nearly 200 people a year. It's pretty good. Taking a break from my 6k Wales map. Been banging my head trying to get lines through mid Welsh mountains at a minimum cost. Yeah, I think uh, you're just experiencing what Victorian engineers back in the uh, the 1800s were experiencing. That's why narrow gauge is so popular in Wales because it was so much easier to build. Uh, when you say 6k, is that map size or is that just uh, a classification? I mean, I'm quite happy with the map size here now, so I'm not going to change that. But, um... 
just realised something. I think actually last week's game night is about to go live in half an hour and isn't already live. Yes, map size. Okay. How did you get it that big? So is that that's six thousand square kilometers, right? No, I don't want you. I like how I can select individual people on the... Uh... Oh, wow. Is there a mod for that, then? Because I, I went into the um, config and changed it for experimental map sizes. But I think even then, the largest was 576. Maybe bigger. I've got the largest that changing that setting gave me. Unless I really did miss something. Aha, new problem. We've now got more passengers here than the trains can carry. Although I think they can just take the next vehicle. We are earning money again. Bournemouth bus still isn't profitable. I thought I said 400,000 then. Half a million on the railways. Impressive. I'm going to start repaying my loan then. Because that's probably costing me an arm and a leg. Yeah, 100k a year. Ouch. Maps on workshop. Okay. Okay. I'll have to bear that in mind for the next playthrough then. Oh, Sparky's still playing Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, wow. We still need more buses in Bournemouth. This is crazy. I'm just going to have to buy more buses. I don't think I can do anything else. Bournemouth bus. The annoying thing is, because there's no there's no people waiting here, so it's just a, a waste to have the vehicles run out here at the moment. But I always like to future proof it. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. But it's it's handy to future proof. Yeah, 29 people waiting there, 11 there, 27 there. So we need six vehicles just to carry all the people out from here. And I've only bought 10 to go back into... Uh, there's a cracking England map also if you ever fancy trying to recreate our lines of days gone by. Uh, I do and I don't. Like I like building things that are inspired by real life examples, but I don't like recreating real life examples, if that makes sense. Um, I like to put my own unique spin on things. So like, even if I set out to recreate the East Coast mainline, for example, I'll end up building a completely different route to the real life example. That's just me. That's what I do best. But yeah, everything I build is inspired by something or other. And you can always see where the similarities are. This is different because I'm just trying to make money in here at the moment, so this isn't inspired by anything really. Maybe my early Cities in Motion builds. You could say this is based on that. I do feel like we should have expanded to another town by now, though. I just want it to have bigger buses. That's my problem at the moment. We've just not got big enough vehicles to carry all the people. And, you know, Bournemouth is twice as big now as it was when we started. So you can see where the original line went. So I think we're going to need a second line as well to link all this up. We got the north-south one, which will... Uh, where are we? Here. I might get some vehicles running on that. So if I do Bournemouth south to there, Bournemouth north, and then there again... Uh, I'm not going to have you be Bournemouth Branch. You're going to be Bournemouth Central. And again, if we extend the railway, I imagine there'll be an underground station pretty near here, which will also be called Bournemouth Central. So if I now buy some vehicles to run on that new route, I'll get... 8 to start with. And see how popular it gets. I'm 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 looking to get back into city skylines. 
Um, I think if I do that though, what I really want to do is is find a city on the workshop that's just a complete metropolis with no transport network and turn it into like a cities in motion type gameplay where I just build a transport network in an existing city. So I can still I can still build and replace things if necessary, upgrade highways and stuff like that, but at the same time just focus on because my zone planning skills aren't great, I'll be honest. So being able to do things other than that would be very good. Lots of fun. And then people can send me in cities that they've built and I can work on uh, like building trans... Maybe because, uh, you know, I'm good at building transport networks. So even like as a, a moonlighting hobby, people can just send me cities that they've built that they're struggling to connect up with stuff and I can just go ahead and do that. Wouldn't be a bad way of uh, making a living. I say making a living. I doubt I'll be able to charge for it. Oh wow, train trains are earning me lots at the moment. Yeah, over half a million now. I think I might make the trains bigger. Or at least be able to carry more people. Can you imagine if I did charge for it? Oh, I'd make a killing. I read a story once actually, there was a guy, I'm trying to remember who it was, I think it was on a forum that I read things on from time to time, um, they had an Xbox account, uh, an Xbox gamer tag, and they, they put in their bio as a as a joke, like uh, Call of Duty sniper lessons $50 an hour, and they got banned for it, with no, no right to appeal or anything, just got kicked off Xbox for, for that. So can you imagine if I started charging people for the right to tell them how to run their transport networks in their cities? Right, I want to... What's your tractive effort? Actually, you've got a really good tractive effort, considering. Because we're running these ones at the moment, which are 55. That's 50. And they are... I mean, that's 49. Huh. So you're 45. So this is the one we want. We want this to be the the loco. Uh, oops. So I've already got it set up. Um, so then I want the wagons. And I might go with these, actually. So what's... Capacity of you is 8. You're 6. You're 8... And you're six. So I'm just going to keep with this. Actually, we didn't have those, did we? We had these, which is six. So I'm going to go with these. Top speed is 37. Top speed is 62. Ooh, it's tempting. So if I did that, and then one, two, three, four, and then that. How much would that cost? If I did replace now. <sighs> Ouch. How much are these? 237. 187. It's no contest, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can currently hold 24. You will be able to hold 40. That's a massive difference. 2.69 million, or we just wait for it to age up. I'm going to wait for it to age up, I think, but that is actually getting quite bad. So being able to carry 40 people at a time is a massive game changer, but we need $2 million in order for that to happen. I'm surprised I didn't change the currency to pounds. I'm not even sure if you can change the currency to pounds. I'm annoyed that it's dollars when we're clearly not in uh, America, though. Yeah, there's no finance option, is there? Uh, and there's nothing... There won't be anything there. How annoying. How Americanized. Oh yeah, North-South was quite popular then, I noticed. What about in town? Not as much here. 
And definitely there's not going to be anything down here still. Although there are houses down here now. Yeah, there are houses down here. So people might walk down here to then get a bus back north. I'm not sure quite how the pathfinding works with regards to that. Do people deliberately head in the wrong direction to then head back in the right direction? I don't know. Never even gave that a thought before, but you're right. What's that? I'm not used to people telling me I'm right. Whoa! We need more trains. Ah, dollars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It always disappoints me when I see that, actually. Because it's, it's not... I don't get why it's default. You know, these are European developers selling to a mainly European market. Yes, there are people over in America that would buy it, but... I mean, how much? How many lines of code would it take to regionalize it? So if I, in the UK, buy a game, just have it default to pounds. If someone buys it in Ireland, have it default to euros. If someone buys it in America, have it default to dollars. Surely that's doable. Like, Steam knows where you are. You tell it your location. So it must be possible. So I'm tempted to make this double track all the way. So if I pause, how much would it cost to double track this section first? Let's remove that one as well. Come on. Up to there. 51,000. Not bad. And then I'll put a signal there. Uh, all the way back down here. Where was it? Signal there and there. I'll be impressed if there's a mod, actually. that That's, uh, I think they're called quality of life mods, aren't they? They don't change anything about the game necessarily, but they make the game so much nicer to play. I'd be happy if there was a mod for that. Alright, so, hopefully this train will just start moving again. Yep, good. Uh, just check that is correct. Yep, good. These aren't path signals actually, that I've put here. See, it's red until a train approaches it. That's an open TCD um, trait, I suppose. That the signal remains red until a train approaches it. And then if the block ahead is clear, it will show green. Alright, I'm going to move this entire piece of track here. Uh, including... I just want to remove the signal. Are you going to let me do that? There we go. There. Because I've got tons of cash. I should be able to afford. I do like... like The little touches in this game are good. Things like once you've spent a lot of money on a bridge for single track, you only have to pay a small amount to have it double track and not just the same amount again. Because it would be so easy for them just to say, oh, will you to do it twice, you have to pay for it again kind of thing. So it's nice that they don't make you do that. I appreciate that a lot. I don't have many complaints about this game. Someone asked me about it the other day because I knew I was going to be playing it this week, um, and I said like I don't I don't dislike it, but I don't, I don't particularly like it, but I don't hate it either. I think it's a very good game for what it is. I think for some of the features perhaps that they promised, they haven't fully delivered on. But that's different for it being a bad game. I'm not think. Oh, hang on. That was a really bad signal placement. I'm not comparing it to No Man's Sky or anything like that. Although even you know, No Man's Sky, they've, they've fixed that to some extent. I think they finally introduced multiplayer nearly two years after they first mentioned it. Come on. Signal grabbing seems tricky. Oh, I had it again. There we go. 
Yeah, don't put the signal after the level crossing. Put it before it. That's the smart way of doing things. And then put the final signal there. And now the entire route between Bournemouth and um, Washington is double track. Again, we've got loads of people. So we've got 108 people waiting at Bournemouth. Down in Washington, we've got none. Mainly because the train's just loaded up. Do you know what the other thing I might do? Because I can nearly afford it. Is build the underground station. I think it was, was it 900,000 to build it where I originally wanted it? Which was down here somewhere. But if I move it to the new spot. Which was under here. Spin it round. Half a million to build it in there. If I can get it in the right spot. Yeah, there. Half a million to build it there. So if I do 240 length. Do four tracks. See, I, I wonder... Underground passenger station. Tram track. Hey, tram track. Ah. So you're for like building proper underground, like London underground style stations. That's clever. Always tracks in the middle. I like the fact you've got that option too. Um, now see, what I want is like this, but underground. Is that possible? Uh, it's roof length. Linear. Da -ba -da -ba. I don't. Oh, I think I know what that means, actually. Yeah, I think I know what that means. Shortest platform. Some more stuff. They're the entrances. And then they're the fences. I'm surprised they haven't got more. Oh, yeah, the flying junction. I was hoping I'd get to build a flying junction tonight. They're so clever. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, and then you've got this one. So this is like over near Liverpool Street in London. There's uh, parts where the, the tracks swap over like that. You can change the crossing angle, which I think is nice. Might change it to 10, just to have it really small. But yeah, I wanted to build something like this, but underground. Because that would have been awesome. Because that's... I can't build that at ground level. You'd never get tracks in and out. So I have to see if there's other variants of underground stations. I'm not missing anything, am I? No. Alright, so I think we're going to place the underground station. Um, we'll make it 240 for now, and we'll make it two track. So I reckon... I saw it for 200 then. If I build it here... I'd like to build it where I could put a bus stop in this gap as well. Like, in theory, if I place this further back, you could build a bus stop up in this gap, like a bus terminus. Like maybe... Like that. And I've still got money to burn. Look at that. Um, asphalt Country Road. No. I don't want highway either. These are all country roads still. Extra large country road. No. What's the time? Oh, I'm going to have to start wrapping up soon. Tarway. What the hell? <laughs> what is that? I 
I kind of like that as a station approach. I think that looks quite cool. Alright, can I fit a bus stop up here? If I spin this round. If it's looking like I'm going to have to destroy too many buildings, then I might as well just build it over here in a designated space. Which, in theory, I could do. Although this side might be easier. Something like that, perhaps. This is a game I feel like I can play between streams as well. What's a road rail exchange crossing? Oh, okay. Like that. Alright, back to business. So I reckon if I place that there... Okay, we've lost some more buildings, but... Um, let's say instead of New Street Station, we have the bus come to here instead. So you're going to be Washington Central. And you are going to be Washington Central. And then, yeah, we can take the vehicles out of Washington nothing. Remove that one as well. And actually have them come up here instead. That could work. And then move this stop maybe to on this road. And have the loop continue. Uh, so can I select down here? Yes, I can. How much is it going to cost to link this up? I don't like it won't let me run it underneath and then up like it's got to do this weird like if it just went underneath around and then up I'd appreciate that but it's not going to work anyway it's going to cost over a million to do this bit never mind the rest yeah, 750,000 today so I'll have to leave that till next time so I'm going to cast my vote now and then we're going to close the poll and see what wins. And I'm going to vote as impartial as possible. I'm going to vote the game that I want to play on stream next week. Uh, I'm actually going to do, before I do that, I just want to see what the current standing is. It's close. It's actually very close. So, I'm just looking at the choices again. Because my memory is like a sieve at times. I want to play a game that I've not played for a while. So Airport CEO, I've played it periodically every now and then. Cities in Motion again. Uh, I mean, I don't play Cities in Motion, but I play its sequel every week. Um, Space Engineers, I've played that fairly recently. The Forest, I've played quite recently. Transport Fever, I'm playing now. So I'm going to vote for Kerbal Space Program. That's my vote. And now, I'm going to close the poll. There we go. So the results are... Uh, Transport Fever got one vote. Airport CEO got one vote. And Kerbal Space Program got two votes. So with 50% of the vote, Kerbal Space Program is the game that we will be playing next week. Hopefully... You guys can all join me for that. Um, it's been great, actually. It's been a lot of fun playing Transport Fever tonight. I hadn't really gotten into the game before and played it to this extent. Normally, I'd run out of money by now, so I'm actually very happy that I've still got money. Not only that I've still got money, but I'm still making money. That's important as well. We're nearly up to a million dollars on this route. Uh, the buses... Washington's making us money, the Bournemouth ones still aren't, but again, I think that's a capacity problem in terms of running costs compared to uh, how many passengers we can actually transport. I think there's a fine line and we, we haven't quite found it yet. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to drop some uh, comments down below with advice for how to make more money. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch, either live or on the VOD, thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the follow button. Uh, it's not too late. If you hit the follow button now, your name will appear in the credits at the end. Um, 
big thanks to Golfer, to Ben, to Josh, and to Evan Z for coming in and chatting. It does make the stream a lot more fun when people are here talking, believe me. Uh, I've been doing this long enough now that I know the difference. Uh, so I will still play this between now and next time we, we come into this on stream. So uh, this map might look a lot different when we come back. Um, for a start, there'll be more underground routes, I imagine, because we'll be connecting up uh, Washington. And there'll be probably some new trains and all kinds of things there as well. So until then, once again, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to do a hard save now, because if I tab out the game, it might crash. I don't think it will, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Stay tuned for the credits if you haven't seen them before, because they are... Well, I'm about to say they're quite impressive. They're not impressive, but they're fun to watch, so... Uh, do feel free to, to check that out. And Evan Z, your name will be appearing. So uh, definitely, definitely check that out. I need to stop that scrolling. That's really irritating. Is there a way to turn that off? That's a long list. I'm not sure I can be bothered. Alright, so the game's going to scroll for a little bit while I uh, come over here. So yeah, uh, stream end. Oh, there we go, because I've activated a different window now. It's gone away. Um, where are we? Credits. Alright, so yes, big thanks once again, guys. Hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the like button on YouTube as well. Comment down below, all that kind of nice stuff. And until next time, I will see you soon.